Hi, my loves. This is number two for today. I got another reading message coming in for you. So we're going to go ahead and do another one. So spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. If you'd like to be notified every time I post a video, please hit the like, subscribe, or subscribe button, sorry. Um, when it works, right? Hopefully it does. Um, but also keep the positive energy and the algorithm of the channel going. Like, subscribe, comment, share, show the love and support. As always, keep it positive. The comments are a safe place for family to connect and me to connect so I can give you... Um, readings or put out messages for those that like to connect to my energy uh, so I can connect to your energy and get the messages out so um, if you'd like a personal I will be doing them this week that information's in the description box below also if you'd like to donate that information's in the description box below um, Let's go ahead and get into the reading. And thank you to anybody that has shown us love and support. We've kind of been through a bit of some life changes and tough things and it's life and just with what I've had go on this, this past year, it's life afterwards. But, you know, we've been through some challenges and I appreciate all the love and support we've been shown. Um, we're very, very grateful and I love you so much. Um, all right, Scorpio. Right, the inf the information, so that maybe the information that you need right now here is about transformation, and the video that I posted earlier was mainly about transformation, um, but here it is again, your strength right now is coming from here with this transformation, this beautiful transformation that you're in with these two cards I pulled in your energy, um, learning to release something, believing here, believing that we can create right in the here and now with this energy, this strength that you with positive intention here also with this light um there's a lot of strength also with this energy of connecting with spirit coming from um connecting from spirit and meditation right now and assisting with your transformation and spirit is asking you to with this card showing up as well believe believe in yourself believe in this energy believe in the transformation and for some of you you're releasing or learning to release these negative thoughts these negative ideas these negative ways of thinking releasing toxic energies releasing energies that aren't in your highest good whatever this is there's freedom in this release that is bringing transformation this is what some of you are currently learning right now okay beautiful energy scorpio i love how the sun the sun the sun is shining in on this reading too as we're talking about this light this release this powerful energy here again overall energy underneath right before i started the reading when i always do a pre-meditated little check-in for you guys i had the transformation scorpio card so serious energy right now coming out of an energy of feeling imprisoned mentally physically stuck right to transforming and feeling full of love purpose balance energy this is mind body and soul four of ones can also be you know moving into an energy or connection that is you know through this energy more committed some of it some of you is preparing yourself for some type of marriage whether it's your first marriage or you know, more than first, right? Whatever, it's your life. But the energy of taking something to a higher commitment or commitment, some of you, it is twin flame energy, if you believe in that, but um, an energy of um, two people, because in that card, there's definitely two people, right? So um, it could be the shift here in this release and releasing some of this toxic stuff for those of you that haven't come into union or have been like working on yourself to come into union this is a release that you're bringing that uh is is bringing that change or transformation into your life as well all right so let's do the yin and yang oracle deck before i get into it i'm getting hot too <laughs> oh all right Scorpio. some of you might feel like right now i just saw the distance and retreat card it's time for a vacation or you might want to distance yourself from certain energies or maybe this is the release that you're beginning or starting okay as i'm getting what, are the, what messages do we have yeah there's the energy of healing past energy or suffering or it's kind of like looking letting go releasing the past releasing the suffering energy releasing that right um letting it go 
you know, even through like meditation, visualizing it in a sense where you're letting go. I forget who it is. It was like, what is it Louise Hay? But the energy of like, for she says like, see fear as a balloon, right? And like she talks about through this guided meditation of letting it go and watching it disappear, right? So and again, with this energy, there's definitely a release with that message I'm getting to like releasing some level of fear or just something that's toxic for you and um, your energy. All right, Scorpios. Whew. We're feeling powerful with transformation this weekend, I guess. Or some of you just need messages here in regards to whatever transformation shifts that you're making. All right. Seeds were planted for this in the springtime. All right. Some of you, whatever you started here in the spring, um, your ancestor guides have been helping you here. Alchemy brings something into fruition, but the seeds were planted in the spring for whatever this change is. Moving um, or coming into your energy. So think back in, in the spring, right? What is it that you started or what was it that you were trying to manifest or bring into your reality? Your ancestor guides were on board with this, Scorpio. All right, what other messages do we have? Okay, feeling loss, rejection, or fragmented energy and self-care. So this could be some, some of you, it was definitely could have been something here started in the spring that had to do with releasing energies, taking care of yourself. There was something that had to do with self-care and energy connected with this loss, this fragmented energy, this energy possibly that created a heartbreak or heart loss in your life. All right. Avoidance. Some of you, it's just straight up fucking avoiding negative people, negative energies, things that cause loss, right? Taking care of yourself, cutting things out again, releasing, learning to release. Maybe this is the seed that was planted in the spring, like learning to release these things. Maybe now it's like whatever is happening here with this alchemy energy. This was all guided by ancestors. Maybe you're seeing like the benefits of releasing, right? For some of you, even if it's manifesting, like bringing things into your life, right? I will never forget, you know, Sometimes I feel like manifesting or the word manifesting can be like taken the wrong way. Like even, um, you know, what is it? God said there, said there will be light. So there's light. Like it's in the fucking Bible, right? So it's not just like, it doesn't mean witchcraft, right? It's the alchemy. It's, it's, it's speaking things into existence in a sense, but it's also energy, right? It's the energy of. And, and, and so I feel like for some of you, it, there came, you had to understand that something here had to change. Whatever this shift was, it started in the spring. Um... And it's helping bring something into your life or bring something into fruition in your life. And it all based on self-care. Again, major transformation energy. All right. Some of you might feel like you're stuck at a crossroads though currently here with decisions to make here with this card coming out. Okay. It could be a decision in regards to someone, something, but there is the energy or maybe there's a decision that you're avoiding. All right. With this, this energy. No, it's just making at a crossroads, making decisions, avoiding toxic patterns, toxic people. There's decisions that need to be made and some of you are at a crossroads. All right. But maybe some of you are kind of really like weighing it out. Like, all right, in this decision, right? Like, all right, what have I already seen? What change have I already seen in my life that is going to be the catalyst for this decision making process, right? avoiding toxic situations, patterns, people, right? I mean, seeing patterns, even like uh, things that people, like getting involved with certain types of people, right? Recognizing the pattern and stopping it is what I'm also hearing here. Making better decisions. All right, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Here's this past energy that was suffering, this lack energy, lack mentality, letting go of that energy here. Oh, messages, communication, okay. Hmm. Assistance from, you're getting assistance from your spirit, right? Okay. 
I said rides, ride or dies. Maybe some of you got some ride or die spirit guides, right? But like, I love that shit. I know I do. So it's the energy here of communication, right? So messages and communication coming in here with this energy from your spirit guide. So listen, okay. In my reading that I was talking about earlier, I got, and it was beautiful. You could be getting messages or connect to messages. I get a lot of messages through music oftentimes. And it was, how do you talk to an angel? Right. And I was like, Oh, so profound. But again, it's like spirit is, is, is there, they're sending you messages. They're communicating. And it has to do about this for a lot of you. It has to do with this suffering energy or past energy, right? Uh, things that left you feeling fragmented, um, and hurt and, and felt like, you know, there's this healing, whatever this process through self care is, um, your spirit guides are on board with it. Your ancestor guides are on board with it. Like, you know, everybody fucking on, on the other side here helping you that you can't see is on board with whatever this is and you're receiving messages. So pay attention. Somebody, uh, this spirit guide, there's a feminine energy here. I don't know why I'm looking at her hair. She has long, long hair or long hair. You know, I don't know. Maybe you've gotten like some type or had some type of dream with this person or somebody that looks similar to this image for some of you. That's a spirit guide sending a message. And then we've got the energy of chemistry, passion. All right. So a lot of you, again, like I was saying, this shift, this change, it's like this energy is bringing in careers, contracts, and commitments on a different level for you. I love it, Scorpio. Let's do angel oracle or angel messages. Angel tarot messages. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides. What messages do you have for Scorpio with the angel tarot? Hmm. All right. I mean, Scorpio, here you are with the death card. Transformation, endings and rebirth. This is influencing health and longevity. So with this transformation, Spirit is saying you're moving in the right direction. This is influencing health. This is influencing longevity with careers, commitments, life, all of it. Beautiful energy. One, two, three. Again, as I said that, right, in the message that I got in the reading before, before I started the reading, it was one, two, three. The message of you're stronger than you think, right? So some of you feel like through this transformation, maybe you felt beat down, but Spirit's saying, hey, you've made it. This is the transformation. You are stronger than you think. You've been stronger than you think. And making these decisions, you are stronger than you think. 13, as I was saying that. No doubt in my mind, this is a Scorpio <laughs> message, right? All right. Eight of Wands <laughs> makes one passionate towards God. Communication, right? Spiritual communication, right on top of Spirit Guide's energy here. The energy of spiritual communication. This is the energy some of you might play the violin or have played the violin. Um, she's playing a violin, this angel, but this energy of the energy of um, makes one passionate towards God. There's kind of influence of music here with this energy, right? Um, again, communication. So heavy, it could. Your again, assistance from spirit guides, communication, music, pay attention to music, lyrics, music, feeling, feelings that you're getting from music, messages. I feel like wherever this message is for, there's heavy influence with music, with this ener energy, industry. What? I'm just making up words now. Energy and chemistry. Inner, <laughs> Let's Make it happen, right? All right. So the energy of chemistry. <laughs> What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Oh, I love it. Ten of Cups. Exactly. Divine warrior confines the, confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. So again, this is the energy Scorpio of uh, my Scorpio warrior warriors warriors. Some of you, right? Letting that go, releasing it. But warriors, right? The energy of confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. So maybe for some of you, a situation that you've been really worried about here. Here's an angel kissing you on the head, right? Uh, it's a woman and child underneath it, so you could be a mother. You don't necessarily have to be, but the energy of you know 
going through a battle and your angels comforting you through whatever this has been, um, bringing victory and peace into your life. And the 10 of cups represents long-term happiness. So again, this, this work, right. That some people are just too lazy to do. And again, you know, the moon card, as soon as I'm talking about something's going to come out in regards to something that you've dealt with that had to do with moon card or moon energy secrets being things not being you not knowing something secrets in some way shape or form things coming to light things being done in the dark coming to light but um this energy this is archangel gabriel this angel shows up and has the power to destroy in situations where things have been kept secret undercover also is what i'm hearing too so for some of you this is energy of god being your strength through whatever you've been through whatever battle this was right this might this might be um this might have something to do god i'm stuttering right now <laughs> what this might have something to do with the decision that you need to make um this is a divine revelation this is being getting the guidance that you need and communication that you need for self-care and to protect yourself and guide you through this transformation this is guiding you towards long-term happiness for some of you again secrets might come out here in regards to whatever this is bringing victory and peace something was hidden here or something something causing some type of strife here if we've got victory and peace something coming out in regards to look five of wands battling an energy here three of swords interfering energy third party energies that caused heartbreak in your life with the page of pentacles is being replaced here in this release with loyal energies friendships and reconciliation in your life with people that are supposed to be there i love it this is good news as well coming in high priestess energy for some of you there's going to be a lot of success with trusting your intuition or success in regards to something that has to do with high priestess energy um giving protection in your life trusting your intuition and um you know uh, scorpios are very very intuitive so again with that energy um trusting with whatever it was that you needed to release that again it was there's a decision possibly still on the table for some of you in regards to stuff coming out or trusting that you made the right decision in regards to something else okay so let's see scorpio's thoughts emotions and actions There's that stanky seven of swords again. <laughs> what? Somebody has been trying to get away with something or somebody's been keeping a secret. Now I did see the seven or knight of pentacles. High priestess energy could be a Pisces. This is you though trying to trust your intuition. Um, hmm. All right, thoughts. You're trying to trust your intuition right now. Some of you could be doing some research online. She's definitely got the computer. As soon as we're talking about it, here's the stank moon. I'm just kidding. This moon energy here. All right, secrets, secrets, secrets. Something came out. Scorpio's looking into it, right? So we're trying to figure out something here. And your thoughts right now, what's going on with Scorpio's thoughts? In regards to a new path, all right? Um, secrets have come out. Now, this could be a shift. Like, we're thinking, like, something's come out. Now, we're changing. We're shifting. We're going in a different direction. Or you're trusting your intuition here in regards to a new path. All right. This is all thought process energy. What are we doing with emotions? Or how are we feeling with emotions for Scorpio? All right. Strength here. All right. Feeling really strong right now at this time. Again, um, present moment energy, meditation, prayer, uh, bringing strength is what we pulled in the beginning. I'm kind of, and this is emotional energy, right? Okay, right underneath communication with makes one passionate towards God. This is a strength. This is a guiding strength. This is some of you feeling very like emotionally full of love for this strength is what I'm picking up as well. Or it could be emotional here. There could be a strong bond, strong energy in regards to Leo energy, high priestess energy, Pisces energy. What else? emotional about something ending pretending like everything is okay 
staying strong, trying to trust your intuition. So for some of you, there is the energy here of really trying to stay strong and pretend like you're okay. Sometimes it's okay to just get the fucking ugly cry on though. I mean, you don't have to do it in front of anybody, but there is the energy of somebody just kind of like, you know, maybe, you know, pretending like you're okay, taking one foot in front of the other and just like, I'm going to fake it until I make it is what I'm getting. This is because it's connected to strength. And it really has to do with whatever you were thinking about, trusting your intuition, you're in your head about it, you're in your feelings about it. All right, what else is going on with Scorpio's emotions? Four of Cups. Feeling surprised about something emotionally, feeling over something emotionally. This could also be a level of re re uh, rejection. But I'm really getting more of feeling like emotionally over something, feeling surprised about something. All right, what else? Could be involving an Aries energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be, okay? But the Emperor is showing up, okay? This could be just like, I'm over, over it and now I'm moving towards what I want to do, right? Um, this is being content at the bottom of the deck. So the energy of feeling happy and content, right? So I'm over it. I'm moving towards what makes me feel happy. All right, Scorpio's actions. Seven of Cups. Some of you have a lot of options right now or options, maybe not a lot, but definitely options, weighing out the options, trying to make the best decision here, looking at everything on the table. All right, what else? And actions. One more. For some of you, there's two different energies here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. This could be options here on the table. Two different physical energies, male or female, doesn't necessarily have to be either on the table. Somebody in their feminine energy, somebody in their masculine energy. Maybe kind of weighing out options if it's a romantic situation or it's an energy here of. Um, I've got options here. This is an energy that's also very down to earth, very loving, the ultimate working parent. The energy of somebody that brings financial ideas or whatever, uh, that energy to life, right? This is all somebody lit also with the King of Wands, very powerful, very charismatic, somebody who's very honest, full of integrity, um, brings truth to situations, light, but very, um, very attractive as well. So very positive energy. I am getting kind of like, this is the vibe that you're in. This is why there's the energy of whatever action you're taking currently. I feel like this is more you than like options being on the table and having a choice but for some of you that could be i am getting more of the energy of this is you and your energy and kind of you know this is the options that this beautiful energy is bringing into your life all right for some of you it's a job opportunity with the king of pentacles or job opportunity is plural hierophant and the devil hmm and then for some of you here there's options on the table right in this energy we've got spiritual lessons here and the and the energy of the devil right with decisions that you need to make there's been lessons learned right understanding viewing like looking at a situation weighing out all the options is this me repeating a, a, a pattern that i did in the past is basically the action i see you taking scorpio okay and for a lot of you it has to do with money because eight of pentacles are just the energy of working together with people to create abundance whether it's financial or emotional okay so let's do person scorpio is thinking about thoughts emotions in this reading and actions one more Some kind of secrets coming out everybody's finding out it could have to do with a feminine aquarius libra gemini energy doesn't necessarily have to be it's just the energy of the card but some this is also bringing truth so a, some somebody bringing truth and justice to a situation or a truth to a situation cancer energy as well about something here okay something coming to light somebody's really thinking about something that came out here okay some type of truth okay emotions for scorpio's persons all right two came out all right, feeling unattracted here to some kind of energy. We've got the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. So something that caused a level of, could be a fire sign, feminine fire sign, doesn't necessarily have to be, but we have the Queen of Wands here. Um, 
This could be a person that's just very uh, uh, charming, charismatic, uh, confident, beautiful. There's something here. There's not a desire here to move towards something because of a level of deception here, heartbreak, and feeling like something. They don't desire something here. They're in their feelings here about something in regards to a truth, a third party energy interfering in some way, shape, or form. Now, this could be you. This could be this person viewing you this way right and there's been interfering energies in regards to this feeling because of this with you because of how you are this could also be divine power energy there could be something about your gift your divine power here right there's been interfering energies because of this for you all right person's actions wow all right scorpio all right, two of pentacles. Somebody might be trying to juggle more than one person. I don't feel like it, but it feels like trying to keep life in balance. It could be two forms of income, but there is somebody trying to get things together here to possibly prepare for a level of commitment with the ten of pentacles. This can represent building a legacy, building on success, right? building our marriage here all right so there's the energy here of kind of getting their life together and taking actions to do something here um, with the ten of pentacles energy it could also just be like this person's super focused on money right now i don't know um let's do another card juggling more than one form of income building on success but this is the energy of two people coming together and building a legacy usually family etc because there's a family here dogs grandmother child hierophant taurus energy aquarius libra gemini someone might be possibly ending a commitment or a marriage here not for everyone but that is a specific message because the hierophant can represent marriage as well and four of wands taking something to a higher level of commitment moving in together now if it's not in it could be just ending something here there could have been a lesson learned and whatever actions here have been taken here because this could be spiritual lessons teaching this person could also be a healer as well with that energy but something being over here kind of kind of going through the motions i feel like it's whatever interfering energy was there here and then again, for some of you, it could be moving in together or just taking something to a higher level of commitment or marriage because it's a four of wands. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave it there because I'm fucking hot right now. So this person, I got to turn the heat off. I got really hot doing your reading. So again, maybe for some of you or this person or some, whoever this energy is, because I got hot talking about them, like the heat is on. There's a decision here with this chemistry, this passion. Um, to make a decision. All right, Scorpio. I hope this message was helpful. Until next time, lots of love and light. Again, if you'd like a personal, that information's in the description box below as well as if you'd like to donate. Until next time, bye.